Okay, so today I have a redemption story. I feel bad that I said on this channel that Atelier Risa 3 was disappointing because after I made that video, guess what I did? I was like, there must be something wrong with me. So after I made that video about disappointing games, I went back to Atelier Risa. I completed the game. I did all of the side stories, all of the side quests, I mean. I collected everything, collected all of the recipes, maxed out friendship level with everyone, went everywhere, collected everything, and I did the platinum trophy in Risa 3. At the time when I was recording that video, the last the last time I talked about the Telia Risa anyways, I had not gone to all of the places in the world and it opened even more up and there were even more continents, like maps, that you could visit in the game, which I didn't know at the time when I was recording that video. Because if you remember, I was disappointed about the specific storyline in Sardonica, that first big city that you get to anyways. Now that is just a tiny little sidetrack storyline from the big picture. The story got so much better further into the game and I have like 83 hours played right now in Atelier Risa 3. I had my moment, I got into the rhythm. After that stupid storyline in the city with the which material is the best. Then you got to a new place and you met some new people, got some new party members and then you got to a new place, met some new people, etc etc. And meeting old friends again, you meet Fee again. That's a, that's a moment also. And also, you get to explore the underworld. The world that was broken in Risa 1. You visit the underworld and it's like this broken place. The water is gone and there's a lot of Pilushkas, which are the enemies in the underworld. And now the Orens has built like a new settlement up in the trees, like tree huts and stuff. That area was so beautiful and the story got really better. And this has been a super fun platinum to do. There were, of course, a few trophies that I was struggling with, like the end game trophies, but that has also been such a fun time. Now, what is my message today? It is don't sleep on this game. If you left Atelier Risa 3, give it another chance right now after you have been watching this video. And maybe it will surprise you into thinking, maybe this is the best Atelier Risa. Maybe, I mean, some people have said that this is their favorite atelier ever, and I kind of get that, because uh, the quality of life features, which is the, the sprinting, and yeah, you run a lot faster compared to what you do in Risa 1 and 2. Uh, there's a lot of things that, a lot of like smaller mechanics that I grew really fond of, and I played it on my portal. Hashtag bed gaming. Yeah, a lot of just features that are better in Risa 3. Like, Risa 3, it was last year's Gust game. And I went back to it because of you guys. The comment section was like, you gotta give it one more chance. <laughs> And I did, so you guys were right, again, as you are. And since this is the last Risa game in the trilogy, every once's storylines wraps up, you get to know what they're gonna do with their lives. A lot of the cutscenes with Risa was really good, where she is like uh, wondering what she's gonna do with her future, maybe she will settle down, have kids and stuff, and it's like, those cutscenes, I really needed to see them, because Risa, we have really gotten to know her by now. She's like our, our friend. And synthesis is so much fun. Now going back to Risa 1 and 2, the synthesis is also good, but I think my favorite synthesis in the entire Atelier series is now Risa 3's synthesis. Like the look of it, I mean it's pretty much the same as in Risa 1 and 2, but the look of it and like the smoothness and like how satisfying it is. Um, I'm really loving the synthesis. Synthesizing is so much fun. However, I am still not a super fan of keys but I did find out how to get all of the super rare keys in the game. What you basically have to do is make the pristine key with rarity up and rarity up too. And then go to landmarks and you will get super rare keys and rare keys, which are so super good. <laughs> Super good. So that is a mechanic. And I mean like after playing Risa 3 and going back to older Atelier games, you can really feel how modern Risa 3 is. So technically Risa 3 is maybe the best Atelier game. Technically. It's probably the best Atelier game ever. Technically. I've been collecting almost all of the chests in the entire world and chest collecting and exploring has also been like really really good fun. I've been loving that and I've been loving that you run faster also. So this makes me think 
What are they going to do next? What is the next Atelier game gonna be? Some people are hoping for another Dusk trilogy entry. Like how they treated the Arlan trilogy with Lulua. Like a fourth Dusk entry. Some people are wishing for that. And some people are just wishing for an all new Atelier Girl uh, trilogy. I don't know. I'm just excited to see what they're gonna do. I mean, Gust, the company that makes these games. Right now, I have a feeling that they're just really busy with keeping up with a Wrestleriana, which is not a game, in my opinion. It is a cell phone gotcha game. It doesn't really have gameplay. It's not a real Italian game in my book. I mean, maybe there are some things in Wrestleriana that are interesting for some people, but not me, I guess. I like the mainline series a lot more. So basically, I have done Platinum Trophy in Rise of 3, and guess what I also did? Straight after that, I replayed Atelier Rise of 1, from new game to the end, and Platinum Trophy. In just about over 30 hours or something, 32, 36, I don't know, but that was like a fast Platinum Trophy, because I'm really good at synthesis, <laughs> I guess. I know what to do. And also, it has been such a blast just replaying Ryza 1 because I had forgotten almost everything because I played Ryza 1 in like 2018, which is so many years ago. Count on your fingers, it's, it's shocking how long that is ago. So a lot of the game felt like a new game to me right now. And also playing on the PlayStation instead of the Switch, of course the graphics are better. It's like such a beautiful game, such a game. It keeps surprising me. Well, we're talking about my favorite JRPG series of all time. I can actually say that the Atelier series is my favorite JRPG series. But replaying Raisa 1, I recommend everyone do that as well. Fairly easy platinum trophy, gotta say. Nothing that was too complicated or too difficult. Uh, so now I only need Raisa 2 platinum. Well, I did play everything in Ryza 2 on the Switch, like a couple of years ago, but I'm gonna try and go for the Platinum there as well. <laughs> because I'm just like that. Really loving Atelier. So I needed to tell you guys what I have been playing, and I've been on an Atelier roll. And it's so good, it's so comfortable, and it's so good. <laughs> Now I have a few items on the table, let's go quickly over them. I got this for Christmas from my sister, it's the new Smurfs game, The Prisoner of the Green Stone. My super short review of this game is that it is like Smurfs 1, the first Smurfs game that I talked about on my channel, it's only more focused on guns. It's like a third person shooter Smurfs, really similar to the first Smurfs if you like that. 3D platformer, check that out. Really good, I like it. Also, this was sent over to me by the publisher, thank you, for me to check out Natunia Sisters vs Sisters on the Nintendo Switch. They released this game on the Nintendo Switch, I talked about this uh, last year. For the PlayStation, I mean. This is how it looks, physical edition. This day one edition also includes other stuff. The box is really cute. I've always loved the art style of the Neptunia series. Lol. Here we have cards, really good. You can frame that if you wanna. Also we have like a cloth. Right, I will not be hanging that up. <laughs> kind of disappointed with uh, which motif they went with on the cloth. I would have much more preferred like this motif, I gotta say. Also, stickers. Stickers. <laughs> Verdict! Check out Neptunia Sisters vs Sisters. It's out now everywhere. Almost. Next up, Marcel sent over the M Classic, which I haven't unboxed yet. Which is a small little HDMI thing that will give you better graphics, better pixels, better gameplay. It's a game console graphics processor. Well, I have heard a lot about this. Maybe you have heard about it too. Also, this company sent over a thing, Oxum, which is a Switch game card reader with a remote controller this time around. I remember something like this popped into my email like a few years ago, where you actually had to go up to your switch dock and push a button in order to change the cart. Now they have it in remote control. Hit the button on the remote and it will change between the games that you have installed into this thing. Really neat. Neat stuff. 
Now, lastly, I gotta show you something. You're gonna love this, you're gonna so love this. I got Andreas from Tromsø. He's a member of the Discord server. Join the Discord down below, we have fun. He made me this custom made Game Boy Advance. Well, you have black, you have pink, you have yellow, and most importantly, backlit screen. How beautiful is that? Thank you for making this to me. So worth it. If you want to do something like this, you gotta ask Andreas TM on Discord. <laughs> he knows how to do it. Anyways, that was everything for today. Uh, play Atelier because it's so good. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Now subscribe to my channel. Subscribe. Subs subscribe and I will love you.